Welcome back to this new video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. Here in this tutorial, we are going to look into what is Lambda function in Microsoft Excel. And if you look into Excel's function list, here if you type is equal to then type LAM, here you can see Lambda function is given and it says Lambda creates a function value which can be called within formula. It means that the lambda function is a function in Excel that allows user to create a custom reusable function. The custom function is stored in Excel's memory, which you can use across different sheets of the same or book. So this is the theoretical description of the function. And here we are going to look into these two examples to be clear on the concept of lambda. So I request you to watch the video till the end. So after watching these two examples, you will get all the concept of what is Lambda in Excel. So here we have the first example and here we need to calculate the sum of the square of below numbers. And here the numbers are given. Our requirement is here to calculate the sum of the square. First of all, we need to square these values, then get the sum of these numbers. And in Microsoft Excel, there is a dedicated Excel function to do this calculation. But here in, in this case, let's assume that we don't know the function here. In that case, we go into the manual calculation by we go here in the column, then we start to get the square of the number first by clicking on the number, then power 2. This gives us the square. Then we drag the formula for other numbers here. After that, to get the sum of these squares value, now we here is the sum formula. So this is the manual way of calculating the sum of the square. This is the sum of the square. So by avoiding this manual calculation, here we can create our own formula by using the lambda. So here if you press is equal to, then type lambda, double click on it. Then here you can see it says parameter or calculation. Here we can define either parameter or calculation within the lambda. Parameter means, for example, if you go to use B loop of formula, just for example, here you will see different parameters are given, like the lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. These are called parameter. In the same way, in the lambda function as well, is equal to lambda. Here also we need to give the parameter. And for this particular kind of calculation, our parameter will be the range of numbers. Because to calculate the sum of the square of numbers, we need to pass the range here in the formula. So in the lambda formula, we need to now give the parameter here. So give here the name range. Type here range, then give a comma. And in the next parameter or calculation, here in the first we defined the parameter now in the second we will define the calculation here to get the sum of the square so the formula here to get the sum of the square is type here sum open the bracket then what we need to do is we need to get the total of the range we defined here and we need to get the sum from the square of the range. So here you can say sum bracket open, then range, then power two. This is the formula to get the sum of the squares of these range. So here we created a calculation that is sum, then range power two. Now close the bracket. Now this formula will give us the sum of the square value here. So if you want to test whether this formula is working or not, you need to first close the lambda function by closing bracket. Then after closing the lambda function, then you can test whether it is working correctly or not by opening a bracket. Then give the range from here by selecting the range. Close the bracket and press enter. Now you get the result of 154. So our function here is calculating the result perfectly because here also we got the result of 154. So after testing your formula, now you can double click on the formula, then here you can re remove the test parameters from here, just delete the test parameters till here. 
then this will work as a function now now you can simply copy this formula by selecting from the beginning to the end Control c to copy this then exit from copy mode by pressing esc key in the keyboard escape key after going out of the copy mode then go to the formula tab and here in the name manager click on name manager and here now we need to create the function so go to the new here then here in the refers to just paste the formula that you copied by pressing ctrl v this is the lambda formula to get the sum of the square value and here give the name of the function that is sum sum of square so this is the function name now when you click ok now your function is set in microsoft excel now in the next time if you have to calculate the sum of the squares then you can simply press is equal to then here you will see your new function that is sum of square here this function we just created so double click on this function then select the range here the parameter asking is asking for range you have to select the numbers from which you want to get the sum of square now the close the bracket then press enter and you will get the same result by your own function now we don't have to follow this manual method for example if you go to sheet number 2 and here if you have some numbers for example these numbers you have here and if you want to calculate the sum of the squares of these numbers now you can use your own function here is equal to then type sum of square this is the function we created by using lambda now in the range simply select the numbers then close bracket and press enter now we get the sum of the square result this is the sum of the squares of these numbers so we created a function here successfully and in microsoft excel there is one dedicated excel's own function to do this calculation that is sum sq formula is equal to if you see here sum sq this is the formula to calculate sum of the square this is made by excel itself but here we have another formula also sum of square this is not excel's inbuilt function this function we just created by using the lambda function so here if you write excel's inbuilt function to calculate sum of square in this case also the result will be same here here you can see the manual calculation our own formula and excel's formula both are giving us the same result so this is the way of using lambda in excel to calculate or to generate our own excel formula now let's go to the second example where first of all let's understand what is the example here suppose that you are located in nepal country and you import some fmcg products from india country to trade in nepal and the products you import from India contains of the Indian MRP written in the product and here in Nepal country to calculate your invoice base price to your reseller your calculation process is the Indian MRP multiplied by 1.6 divided by 1.13 divided by 1.1 and divided by 1.075 this is the calculation formula to get the base invoice price to reseller from the indian mrp so here in this case also you can design your own custom function here that can calculate the invoice uh, base price here you can avoid this manual calculation every time to get the invoice base price so in this case also you can create your own formula here in the name manager by using the lambda so here let's create own formula by using lambda is equal to lambda then here in the parameter our parameter is the indian mrp so here i am giving it is imrp this is the parameter then give a comma and here in the calculation we have to now give the what is the calculation to get the basic invoice price for that we have to now again type imrp here imrp then dip, then multiplied by 1.6 then divided by 
1.13 divided by 1.1 again divided by 1.075 so this will be our calculation here to get the base invoice price now close bracket and here if you want to test whether it is working or not you can open a bracket and give your Indian MRP here just for testing purpose now close bracket press enter and here you can see the base invoice price is calculated by the lambda if you do a manual calculation here for example this in this multiplied by 1.6 divided by 1.13 divided by 1.1 divided by 1.075 in this manual calculation also we are getting the same result so our lambda function is working here now after testing the function double click on it then remove the test parameter from the end now copy this lambda function by selecting them from the end to the beginning this way then press ctrl c in the keyboard to copy the function now exit from copy mode by pressing escape key in the keyboard the first key of the keyboard esc key now go to the name manager and here create a new name in the refers to just paste the formula that you copied control v now here in the name give the function name that is invoice base price this is the function name now click ok now the function is created here just close the name manager dialog box delete this from here now to calculate the mr the base invoice price from the mrp you can now simply use a function you don't have to use this manual calculation now if you press is equal to then go here and type in here you can see the invoice base price function is given and here uh, I am going here because the function is not proper here because here while pasting the fu function here the double quotation is added automatically just uh, remove this remove the double quotation and then click on the tick mark now close it now here you will see the function that is, is equal to invoice base price here you can see the invoice base price function is given double click on the function and then click on the i indian mrp here then close bracket press enter now you get the base invoice price to the retailer directly now you can drag it down for other uh, base prices so in this way we can use this lambda function in microsoft excel to design our own function and use them later in the same sheet if you go other into other sheet and if you want to create the uh, if you want to generate the base invoice price here in this case you can directly use the formula that is is equal to invoice base price then click on the mrp here close bracket press enter now you get the base price of invoice easily so this is the way of using Lambda in Microsoft Excel and this was for today's video. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up by clicking on the like button. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, I request you to subscribe and also turn on all the notifications so that you will get similar kind of video updates in future. Once again, thank you very much for watching. We will again meet on next video tutorial.